teaches you something new. It gives you career choices and it shows you really what you want to do because when it's hands-on, it's easier to see what you want to do and if you like it or not. Your first time attending my Science, technology, engineering, and math is such a great field. I want them to learn more from us at Raytheon uh, to help them determine where they're going to go in their careers. You have so many companies that come together bringing different aspects of STEM, uh, presenting them to the students to see if this is something they're interested in doing. We are making an app with Mary Kay and for help people get ready for a dance party. Mary Kay is not just about selling cosmetics, it's about enriching women's lives and it's about the personal connection and making sure that you have a personal connection with people. So as we tie this back into the digital age, we're all socially connected, whether it's on Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook, and it's really good for the kids to have a digital presence and so they're going to see more and more things digitally. Mary Kay is very um, active in the digital community, so I think it all ties together really great. It's pretty fun. Lots of interesting activities. We're going over the basics of motion picture stunts with the kids and uh, kind of teaching them uh, what it takes to do this kind of work and, and uh, you know what kind of education it requires and uh, just having some fun. It gives them a perspective on the on the film industry that kind of shows them that, that it's not real, that uh, um, you know it's all a, it's all a magic show. It's all you know smoke and mirrors and trying to figure out how to make something appear to be happening that's not really happening in order to tell a story. I like how it teaches students to engage in some of the technology that we're using out in the industry today. Um, that's not something that you can find a lot of programs have to offer. We wanted to expose the kids, not just come up with an idea, but also actually hands-on work with robots. And so we came up with two different robotic systems. One is a scribbler system and the other one is an NXT, simple Lego, Lego Mindstorm system. And once they do these two, the last session that we have is hands-on tinkering, which is using electronic circuits. So once you have the idea of generation, tinkering with your hand and then playing with robots, you should be ready to go and invent in the world. So it's enabling human possibilities. It really opens up the kids' minds to a whole you know, different world. It, it, gives them the you know, analytical uh, mindset that they need to kind of compete in this world. It's a lot of fun. We get to do different stuff with technology and get to do lots of science. We are here to inspire and teach. So uh, we are showing off the latest and greatest Microsoft technologies and really here to drive the imaginations of all these great uh, students here at the Frisco ISD. It helps me understand what other careers are out there that I might be able to do when I grow up. Using all of these different um, avenues for them to work with technology, it should drive their love to continue to work in that and to learn more. So I'm going to try to major in uh, civil engineering. I think this may actually help me learn new things. And we were, you know, had the opportunity to come out here, showcase technology, try to introduce sort of the idea of making with electronics to a younger audience. Because um, that's what we do at TI every day, and we want more employees in the future. So hopefully we'll be able to hang out with these guys once they're deployed into the real world. There we've been programming microchips and flying drones. And it's pretty fun. It will probably get me interested in like engineering and make me want to build stuff. It's really important to make sure that we get uh, children interested in STEM careers. That's fundamentally a problem in the United States. And um, we want to have more students engaged in those careers so they can come work with us and work with any company. I love my Mary Kay! It's kind of just our responsibility to kind of introduce engineering earlier. Back when I was growing up, Lego was a huge part of me wanting to make things. Um, and I figured that I could do that professionally as an engineer. Um, I guess I'm hoping that kids will be able to have that sort of same revelation, maybe even earlier. And this Mindbender Academy is there to challenge people. So it kind of forced us to kind of think outside the box with some of our presentation ideas. Uh, and it led us to invent a game that we travel around and give to different classrooms. It's going to help me have experience with like working with others not just with like school projects but like as a real business company. I always get free stuff, we use, get to use technology, we get to build things and mostly that I get to get interviewed. 